Hello and welcome to In Deep Crit. My name is Damien Humphreys. Um, I'm playing solo today. I'm uh, going to play some Civilization VI. The recent Leader Pass expansion has become available. So I'm going to play with one of the leaders from the second part of that expansion, which is the Great Leaders expansion. Um, so I'm just going to set up my game now. I'm going to play with Nader Shah. Uh, here we are who is the Sword of Persia, State of Persia. Um, so he receives plus five combat strength when attacking full health units. Cities not founded by Nader Shah receive plus two faith and plus three gold on domestic trade routes. Um, so that suggests um, occupying, taking some cities um, is a best route to maximize faith and gold on those domestic trade routes. And then the usual Persia bonuses so plus one trade route capacity with political philosophy plus two gold and plus one culture for routes between your own cities roads building your territory are one level more advanced than usual the immortal is the unique unit persian unique melee unit that replaces the swordsman melee class unit with a ranged attack uh, range strength two strong defense strength and the peri deza i probably pronounced that completely wrong Wrong. Unlocks the builder ability to construct uh, this this upgrade unique to Persia. Plus one culture, plus two gold, plus one appeal, plus one culture for each holy site and theatre, each adjacent holy site and theatre square. Plus one gold for each adjacent commercial hub and city centre. Additional culture and tourism as you advance through the technology and civics tree cannot be built on snow, tundra, snow hills, or tundra hills or adjacent to another paradiesa. So yeah, plenty of stuff there to increase gold and culture. Uh, the gold will be very useful if I'm going for a domination victory. Uh, the culture, obviously, and tourism will be good if I'm going for a culture victory. So we'll see how the game plays out, but that's probably my two victories that I'm thinking of going for. Uh, let's set a difficulty. I like to play on Emperor difficulty because it puts a bit of difficulty in there that doesn't make it too insane like Immortal and Deity are. Emperor is fine for me. Uh, we'll play on quick speed just so it doesn't take as long. Uh, map type, I'm good with continents. Uh, map size small for six players. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. Um, I'm not going to enable any other additional modes. Uh, leave the disaster intensity as it is. And just go with whichever random opposition leaders the game throws at me. So let's get this game started. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man making his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Shah of Shahs, who rose from bondage to become the wealthiest king in the world, we call to you. Sweep your forces across the land and with fire and steel, set the world alight once more that we may better see the gold shine by the flame's glow. I mean, that introduction hints towards a domination victory, right? Okay, sorry about the interruption there. Uh, that's what happens when you start recording a gaming video and almost forget that you're roasting a chicken at the same time. Um, but I'm back and ready to start. Here's our start position. It's pretty good. First glances is pretty good. We've got some stone right away. T just over there, which will need irrigation. Maze is a bonus resource we can get straight away. Uh, we've got three sides of the city surrounded by a river, which is good defensively. Yeah, we're not right on the coast, which would be nice for boosting sailing straight away. But I can live without. I could move over to the coast and wait a turn, but I'm I'm good. We can hopefully get Stonehenge with this stone right here. So uh, we've got pretty good. 
Uh, not great production, actually. Um, we're going to want to work that stone as soon as possible to boost the production from it, I think. Uh, yeah, could have done with a hill or something nearby. Um, this would have been a lovely location right here. Although not the luck for the luxury resources. Yeah, you win some, you lose some. Let's give it a go. Plus one era score straight away for settling next to a floodable river. Choose research. Um, I am going to go... Probably going to go mining straight away, haven't I, to get that stone. Choose production. Yeah, see, low production figures because... Or rather high production time because of low production. It's not the world's greatest of production starts. Still, let's get that scout out and, um, and see what happens. Okay, there's a village over there. That might give us a boost to something or even a population boost. I would normally leave those for the scouts because they get the XP from them. But not this time. Let's see what they give me. Ah! A scout look. <laughs> Obviously. So what I can do now is change that. I've wasted a couple of turns producing it. Um, I'm going to swap that straight for a slinger now because I've already got a scout. That's nice to have a couple of scouts in the beginning, admittedly. I've got some oranges over there for another luxury resource. Um, if you haven't played this, then luxury resources are very good for keeping your cities happy because they give you amenities. Being up on a hilltop gives you more visibility of the surrounding area. Here, one more up, see what's up there. There's some amber. Okay, so there's some good places to settle cities and there's good potential production in the future. don't really want this warrior getting too far away from home in case barbarians suddenly appear. Which they can do. I've met Leventa. Got one envoy for being the first people to meet them. They want a trade route. It's a little way off I feel. We'll have to wait for that. There we go. Knew the barbarians would turn more up credit too. than the wife of a coal miner. Right, mining is, is research. I'm going to go straight for astrology now. To go, try and get Stonehenge as early as possible. If I'm lucky, uh, Levent has boxed me in there. That's annoying. If I'm lucky, I can find a natural wonder and boost that. Need a builder as soon as possible. Am I purchasing one? 130. Yeah. Quick and a build one. And a new barbarian encampment. Ah, right over there, look. There he is. Just appeared there. So we're going to have to go and deal with him first, I think. 
because it's closer. Scouts lost in the forest. It is not wisdom, but authority. Right. As always, discipline for plus five combat strength when fighting barbarians and god king plus one faith and plus one gold in the capital which will give me my pantheon sooner uh, i'm already getting two faith per turn so i might get a pantheon pretty quickly Going for a militaristic approach, so military tradition straight away. Hmm. I think there's a natural one that just around this corner. Not so far. Two barbarian scouts, they must be from two different camps. Ah! <laughs> and a third one. Goodness me, we are surrounded by barbarians. This could be a tricky, tricky start. So I've killed a unit with a slinger, which is boosted archery, which is nice. I'm just going to fortify you there for now, I think. We've met Kabul. We're not the first to meet them, so we must have another major civilization somewhere nearby. Wandering off, which is good. Don't want them stealing my um, builder when it comes out. Oh, there's no spearmen in the camp. Nice. That's very nice. Uh, I'm going to go eastward from here, I think. Plus 26 gold and plus 3 era score and a boost towards military tradition. Always nice. Only got one turn until we can start building Stonehenge. So let's do another turn on that scout while we're waiting. A physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right to call. How long? 16 faith to have found a pantheon. So it should be next turn. What research do we want to do now? Um, I think animal husbandry. Work towards archery perhaps. Boosted production here. I can now build Stonehenge. So 
I'm going to do that right here. And I'm going to actually focus on production, even though that doesn't make any difference just yet. Should do when I build that pasture. I can't build the pasture yet. So an envoy at Venice. Can't build that pasture for another four turns because I haven't researched animal husbandry. Whoa! That's not good and I'm not happy. I am going to... Get myself another warrior. Build a farm here. I'm also going to bring this warrior up, I think. And a Pantheon, so bonus towards Wonders, we'll get with Stonehenge quicker. But yes, I've got that nice and quickly so I can get religious settlements. So you have a free settler in your capital. That's the one I'm going to have to take. And take my chances with Stonehenge. That's where we want to go. Look, new resources, amber and citrus. Yeah, that's a good place to be. No. I wasted a move there. Never mind. I still got my slinger defending my shad. my builder look might be able to get that back straight away boosted bronze working oh, which is nice Not loving these barbarians, though. I am fond of pigs. Dogs look up to us. A plus ten when occupying even improvement that provides defense strength for the district. City center counts as a district, as far as I'm aware. My builder can go back there. That they can keep running this way. <laughs> Definitely archery.
Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. And take that one out with the stinger. Those two can swap positions. and more housing. It's been a bit difficult. It's been proving a bit tricky. I'm trying to head for that pasture now. Defended. Next time we got a second city. I haven't found any horses here, have we? No. That's a shame. Hopefully there'll be some iron. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship and gives us many useful objects, such as wickerwork. Right, yeah, I'm going to change policies this turn. It's only free to change policies in a turn when you've just gained a civic. Um, so I'm going to change to plus one production in all cities because I'm about to convert, because I'm about to found my second city. that builder protected get you healing get you on alert so if you hover over these cities it tells you what you get if you found a city there so this one is all blue which is nice resources fresh water regional yield inner ring yield new resources and nearest city that is a perfect place to found a city and we'll move forward that is all good to me And I'm going to go straight in with a monument for boost for culture boosting. Let's see what's in here. Here we go. Pound maker of the Cree. Boosted writing. What does he like? Likes tries to form multiple alliances and respect those who do likewise. Dislikes those with few alliances. So it seems like he likes to be friendly, right? Doesn't want my delegation just yet, though. Let's see. Unknown reason. Minus five. Just didn't like the look of me. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. Right, we're going to go straight for iron. The bond's working now. See if we can get some iron. Um, oh, actually, we should have gone for irrigation, I suppose. And we don't have amenities. Although I can get some from there. Uh, Shadows boosted to a production. Upgrade you to an archer.
Yeah. Could do some fighting against scouts. They're very kind of you, Pound Maker. I will return the favour. We want nothing to trade at the moment. Well, it might be time to go and deal with one of these other barbarian encampments then. I don't think I want to get involved against those barbarians there. Do that to Pound Maker. Three turns away from getting Stonehenge completed. Before I get gazumped by the AI. He's got some territory, look. Another tribal village. A couple of barbarian scouts. Some horses over here. I still need those amenities, right? We need a builder pretty soon. This is the turn. Do I get gazumped by the AI or do I get Stonehenge? Can you imagine trying to talk we 600 people into helping Lovely. you drag a 50 ton stone 18 miles across the countryside and muscle it into an upright position and then saying, right lads, another 20 like that, then we can party. Lovely picture of Stonehenge, lovely animation. I'm also interested in creating a lasting working. legacy. Because bronze will last. I don't underrate the value military of military tradition, knowledge. so we get the flanking bonus. But if men make war in sleep. That was a good turn. I liked that turn. So we've got our great prophet, Confucius, which I believe is the first one. Yep, first great person of the game, first great prophet. So we are first in with the religion, which will boost our era score. No end shortly. Oh, we've got iron right near our capital. Any more iron nearby? No, nope, but one source of it right near the capital is a huge bonus. Horse is a little distance away. Have to get a settler out for them, I think. But iron, that's massive. I'll that right there. Very nice. Okay, let's swap those about, shoot the horseman, I think I know where his encampment is, do some new research, never one getting horseback riding yet because we don't have any horses, uh, pottery is the only one we haven't got from Pottery and sailing are the only starting ones we haven't got, so let's go pottery and irrigation. So we're going to need those for our tea and our citrus. 
to civic. We've just made a religion, or we're about to make a religion, so let's do mysticism. Because that can lead on to theology pretty quickly. Which then gives us temples and all sorts of good things to do with our religion. Um, actually, scrap that. I'm going for political philosophy. So we'll do foreign trade, early empire state workforce, and then political philosophy to get the next tier of government. Or well, the first proper tier of government, really. To give us more options. we just finished Stonehenge. Let's have that other scout out and then we'll look at doing a monument. Unit needs orders. You can go looking for that other encampment, I think. Confucius, well found a religion. What religion shall we have? I always have a preference for Taoism. I do like a turtle though. And I'm going to call it Omnism. And you can comment on this video. The first person who tells me the reference wins 10,000 points. So what should we choose? Uh, all World Wonders provide plus four faith. That's pretty good. Holy Sites Faith Adjacent Bonus provides production as well. Um, extra amenities is always good. I'm going to go for Warrior Monks. And... And so I'm not really too worried about spreading my religion. But stupas for the extra immunity to offset war weariness will be useful because I am going to be waiting for There we go, the world's first religion. I'm already on 16 of the era score. Um, it's going to be fairly soon by the looks of it. And then the next, well, 10 to 11. So yeah, we've got 11 turns left. And we're going to be in a normal age. Um, if I manage to get another 6 era score before that, I can be in a golden age. Oh, so Poundmaker's got three cities. There's his capital, look. Okay, so I'm behind in the territory race. Promotion, having a flamish attacks is always useful. Get Builder out in three turns. Yeah, we need that Builder really. Ah, my scouts. No. I didn't see where I got that scout from, to be honest. Ah. <laughs> yes, I do. I just made him. Oh, my goodness. Concentrate, Damien. Concentrate.
we going to have my poor little scout for? Big meanie. See if I can get open borders. I'm going to take it because that's cheaper than buying a new scout. We're going to envoy and another one of your skull. So if we go Venice, then we can become suzerain of Venice. And a couple of Rio score for that. And a couple of tribal villages. You can head for that tribal village there. wetted clay and then left it as if there would be bricks by chance and fortune so he just got a promotion which is nice Hello. what a grand sight this must present in the wet season waterfalls in every direction And we found the encampment. And we've completed our era score. So we are going to be in a golden age next era. Fantastic. Builder can get that citrus before, sorry, that tea before he gets taken by barbarians. And now we want a great bath to stop this river flooding. We want to put it on this square here. Yeah, I know. Oh, I've got another turn for irrigation. Okay, from the risk.
Oh, you're very welcome. Thousands have lived without love, not one without water. Every nation lives by exchanging. On trade and irrigation. Um, trader will actually be really useful. Build a road. Let's go for writing. Start getting our science built up. My other scouts got lost, I think, trying to get around this mountain range. Send the builder straight across to get that amber and that citrus. And I'll keep my amenities up nicely for now. Uh, I don't have the chance to make ancient walls yet. Come at a great bath because they are now occupying the space. Let's have a spearman. Let's not have a spearman, let's carry on with the great bath. Writing is easy. All you have to do. You've got promotion, possibly some hill terrain. You can take him out. Oh, you can take him out. You can take him out. Right. Might need those walls soon. I need a sound as soon as well. We haven't run the camp up there yet. Couple of resources mined. Boosted the wheel.
Didn't get the great bath finish in time. But we're in the classical era, which it is It was nice. luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. Early Empire. With air conditioning, their windows were shut. They couldn't hear the barbarians coming. I want to take that actually because I'm going to need something soon. Let's make a dedication. I'm in a golden age. Uh, so is my first pound maker. That's quite useful. Yeah, that's good for expanding early on. I probably don't need the policy for settlers now, though. Which I can't change because I've just changed. Didn't think of that, did I? I'm going to give a title. So let's get Cardinal. Seeing as I've got a religion. We'll have a settler as well. Take advantage of all that production that we just gained from not making the hang of the great bath in time. I think my scout might be in trouble up there. Wasteful war shall statues overturn, and broils. Wait <sighs> for the wheel. I think we better get a holy site established. Right, I think we better get a monument done first. Okay, let's head to there. You can back away, as soon as you've survived that. A bit of extra faith. I'm right with that. I only want to fortify him for one turn, may not forget about him.
and available for promotion. And a bit of extra gold, right. What are we going to do with this gold? We're building a monument in three turns. Granary. Extra food, extra housing. Oh, we could buy another builder. Let's buy a builder and then we use the gold for buying the land out to this iron mine, I think. Definitely need a granary. Green gardens. Probably not going to get it in time. On the vent, it does one. That will give us a an envoy. Uh, let's do Mashad. I'll give us a road between our two cities. Gold for our tea. Keep him friendly for now. A little does it know, but I'm going to have to invade him pretty soon. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just realign it. It is equally important to have a happy and engaged workforce as it is to have a profitable bottom line. Next research we're going to go for is going to be... So we're going to have any horses, are we? I know we've got horses. I'm getting two from city states. Okay, so let's go for horseback riding. I'm appoint the diplomat to Laventa. Right, let's see if we can buy those tiles. We can, which means we can build an iron mine, in which case we'll change the tech to iron work. Yeah, we'll get our mortals sooner. Let's leave it up. And I think that will bring us to the end of this session. Yep. I'm going to go up and find this barbarian camp up here. Continue expanding and building up our military. Pretending to be friends with people until we go and inevitably betray them. Marvellous. Um, this is Damien at In Deep Crypt playing Civilization 6. And I will see you next time.